All right, here we go. It's unboxing. Most unboxing videos, they tell you what they're out getting, but I, I'm not going to do that this time, so I'm just going to open it up. Get to go. All right, so what we got going on in here. Trying to put these peanuts all over the ground. My dog might try to chew on them. So we got. Leave it. Leave it, Toby. All right. We said we got. Looks like the hot end of the extruder. Give it a second to focus. Here it goes. Hot end. You can see the bolt. See belts in here. The bag of bags. Maybe some electronics. I'll open that up and show you guys later. All right. Unknown item. I'll open that up. Set that there. They really did a good job of wrapping everything up in bubble wrap. Uh, these look like the RP parts, the rep wrapped parts. And they do not look rep wrapped to me. They look CNC'd on a commercial machine. Maybe I don't know what a rep wrap part actually looks like. Oh, close. But these parts look really, really, really darn good, of course. That's close, that's more resolution I've seen in, on YouTube videos before. So these might be CNC'd. Not CNC'd, uh, 3D printer commercial. All right, got here. Well, it looks like they included tools, but I got my own over there. So I'll see if they have better tools than I need. So it does include tools. Looks like this is the hotbed. When I've heard on somebody else on YouTube, the hotbed does not work with the Gen 6 electronics, but you can run it off external power. Okay. Build of materials, inventory sheet. Oh, it's got some heavy stuff here. Nuts and bolts, bearings. This is a standard sales mindle, so it does have over 50 628 bearings. So lots of bearings. Ah, let's see what I got here. It's got to be the threaded and smooth rod, so I'll open that up. Check around. Yep, something else. Okay. It's look like the thick sheet. I don't know if you can tell. The spider's in there, see it fairly underneath there? The spider's in there. You thick and thin sheets, knock that off. And something that's pretty impressive is that most people don't know this. I had to tell my wife that you bubble wrap things with the bubbles inside, and they did that. And I appreciate that. Thanks. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> she actually had to look that up on, on the internet, and I was proven right. I think that's it. I don't feel anything else in there. Uh, they shipped the box separate than the motors because they didn't know when they were getting the motors in. So that's why there's a different box somewhere around here. Where'd he go? Oh, I said right there. And pop that bad boy open. Oh. I have to cut that one out. Hmm. Okay. Now, if I'm right, these should be motors that were delayed because of the Chinese New Year for some odd reason. I guess China doesn't work a few weeks out of the year. Should be four of them. Four motors, looks like it. I'll wrap those and show you guys what I got. That was it. Nothing else in there. Okay, let me pick up my mess and get an inventory, and then I'll start shooting again. Hey, I'm just opening this up, and I uh, just wanted to show you guys this. The bag of parts is sealed up like this, so it doesn't look like there's too much margin for error. Each one has its own little pocket. So whatever they're doing over there at Bot Mill, they seem to be doing it right. 
All right, we got everything unpacked right now. Last week I went ahead and bought one of these little tool chests. And I broke everything down. The way they had it bagged up made it real easy for me to just pour each individual part into a work container. Those came in packed like that, so that's why I left them that way. So I kept everything the same way the bag had it set up. Got your electronics, some cables, that's mine. You got your four stepper motors, not really sure what those parts go to yet, but it's stapled to the build, the build of materials list. Down here we have your, looks like USB cable, krypton tape, thin sheets, just basically aluminum. Not quite sure what that, it's like a fabric type of material, all your belts. Uh, it's a very thin wire, zoom in on that, very thin wire, probably a thermistor. Um, looks like tire tube and braid. Maybe to mount all the electronics. Make them all nice. Sorry about the shadows. Um, that looks like the extruder pits. I'll put that together last. I don't want to lose anything right away. Universal power supply, just like a laptop. Stop. Okay. You got your spider? Hang on. Let me get my dog here real quick. Come here, baby. She's going crazy with the cat, so I'll just take the collar off. Okay. Thick and thin sheets, thick sheet. Not sure if it's flat yet, I have to check it. Spider, not quite sure, I don't recognize that piece yet. Electronics board, and all your RP parts, they look really good. Let me start to zoom in on that. That does not look rip wrapped to me. A second to focus. There you go. That does not look regular rip. It looks pretty commercial. This is for the standard Mendel. It does come with some tools, some pretty decent tools, I guess. If you don't have any, this will get you started. There's the multiple ends, the socket screwdriver, and some super glue. I do remember seeing on the video they listed that it came with Loctite. I don't know if super glue is going to take the place of Loctite. But that, there it is. Oh, threaded rod. Got all the threaded rod here. Here's the threaded rods on this side. Here's the smooth ones. Build the materials. I'm going to set up my own workstation and just get out of the way of my roommates and my wife here so they can do their schoolwork.